Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below. And I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step, step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out, so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. We got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then, on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called, Oh, He's Toxic, Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link's in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we're going to jump right into this video. And this video is titled, When You Stop Caring About a Man, That Is When He Will Start to Care About You. Right, ladies? So a lot of times, you may not even realize it, or maybe you do realize that sometimes when it comes to dealing with a man, when you stop caring about him, like when you ain't even worried about him no more, you ain't tripping over what's his name no more, you done moved on with your life, you just done with the situation, you just over it, you tired of it, you ready to move on with your life, he's getting on your nerves, he's not committing to you, he lying, cheating, he putting his hands on you, he cussing you out, he putting you down, he just being mean to you, nasty to you, like... You know, all these things and you just tired of it and you just stop caring. A lot of times a woman, she might get pushed to her point where she get fed up. You know what I'm saying? When a woman get fed up, it ain't no coming back from it at all. Because anytime a woman get fed up, see a woman, she'll go through a lot. You know, a lot of times women go through so much, right? And they'll take a lot. But, some, but, but after a while... After a while, she ain't going to take it. And it's going to be that last and final straw when that lady say, hey, you know, enough is enough. I'm not going to allow you to manipulate me. I'm not going to allow you to play me. I'm not going to allow you to use me, abuse me, and do any type of thing towards me. Disrespect me, right? So you stop caring you just be like you know what i'm tired of feeding in all this energy trying 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 i'm trying to get you to change i'm trying to get you to commit to me i'm trying to get you to respect me i'm trying to get you to i'm tired you know you as a woman you tired you tired of going back and forth with this man you tired of trying to tell him how to treat you and teach him how to treat you you tired of voicing your opinion trying to stand up for yourself and he don't care or he don't take you seriously or he won't commit to you a lot of times this man will not commit to you and you want a relationship you as a woman you like i want a relationship and he acting like he don't want one so you stop caring you said all right you don't want a relationship with me then i'm gonna go off and find somebody else that do or i'm gonna just you know you know stop the whole thing and just forget all about it and just be like all right well that's cool you don't want me that's fine you know i'm cool by myself anyways you know so when you just stop caring and you shut down because maybe you got pushed to your limit you know, sometimes you as a woman, you got fed up and you got pushed to your limit and then they'll come back and you just, all your feelings towards this man, you just get turned off by him. Have you ever been turned off by a man? You know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever been with a man and then like he did something like dirty 
foul, disgusting, you know, he was very offensive or very disrespectful towards you and it just left like a bad taste in your mouth and you never looked at him the same and you just lost all respect for him and you and every time you think about him or he touched you, he's just like ill, you know what I'm saying? Like, like let's just say even if he cheated on you, let's say this man cheated on you or something, or like, you know, he was messing with other women or something and you caught him, you don't even want him to touch you or you don't even want to talk to him or you just don't even look at him the same or even if he like put his hands on you or he cuts you out or something, you lose respect for this man. So you shut all the way down. A lot of times you as a woman, you shut down because you feel like, you know what? What's the point of trying? What's the point? This man, he ain't never going to get it through his head. He ain't never going to care. He ain't never going to treat me right. You know, I want a relationship. I want him to treat me right, but he not, he don't care. So you saw that he didn't care all the time, this whole time. He did not care about you. He was not tripping over you. He was disrespecting you, doing whatever. He ain't care. You know, you brought it to his attention a whole bunch of times. You, you told him how you felt. You told him how it was making you feel, what he was doing to you, but he ain't care. He just kept doing it and kept continuing to disrespect you or cheat on you or whatever or wouldn't commit to you. And you got fed up and you say, you know what? Since you don't care, I don't care. I'm done caring. Because apparently this man don't care about me. So I'm not going to care about him. Right? So you said, you know what? Goodbye, sir. I don't even care no more. But the second that you said that, and the second that you said, you know what? I don't care no more. <sighs> you throw in your towel. You say, you know what? Hey, it is what it is. I ain't tripping over him no more. I don't care no more. Right? That very moment when you don't care and you just let everything just go and you just like, whatever. Watching that moment, don't it be so crazy that as soon as the second you stop caring, all of a sudden, guess who blowing you up? Guess who trying to call you? Guess who trying to text you? Guess who trying to see you? Guess who all of a sudden just tried to start to do all the things that he was supposed to be doing before, all the things that he was doing in the beginning, in the beginning of the relationship, you know, he wasn't treating you right. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe he was treating you right in the beginning, but over time, he got too comfortable, right? And then after he got too comfortable, you know, you stopped caring, and now all of a sudden, he's doing the same things that he used to do in the beginning that you've been begging him to do, but he stopped doing over time, right? So you looking at this man like, why all of a sudden, as soon as I stopped caring, that's when you start to care about me, but the whole time when I cared about you, as a man, you know, you was doing everything. You was going all out your way for this man, doing whatever for him, making sure he was happy. You made sure this man was happy even if you wasn't happy yourself. Even if you wasn't happy, even if it inconvenienced you, you wanted him so bad that you cared about him so bad that you was willing to inconvenience yourself for this man. And he know that. So he's sitting over here like, well, I don't have to care, right? So he didn't care at all the whole time. He just used you to his advantage because he felt like he was always going to be there. So he didn't even care. And then all of a sudden, when you stop caring, that's a lot of times when this man starts. This man feel like he's losing power over you. Let me just tell you. Let's just let's get right into the video now. I'm going to tell you ladies why. Let me give you ladies just a few reasons why. A man, a man will start to care as soon as you stop caring. As soon as you stop caring, this is why he care. I'm going to tell you. So I have five, yes, I said five reasons why a man, he will start to care as soon as you stop caring. This is why. I'm going to tell you why he start to care all of a sudden, right? It ain't all of a sudden. This is why. Number one is he is selfish and territorial, right? So... He is selfish and territorial. So when I say this man is selfish and territorial, that means that you got to understand, most men are very territorial when it comes to their woman, when it comes to anything. You know what I'm saying? Men are hunters. And when, when it comes to that hunting, men are protectors over what they have. So a lot of times he's very territorial over what he has, even if he don't necessarily want you. Again, he may not even want you per se, but he just wants that power over you. He just wants that control over you, that manipulation. He's having fun running circles around you and playing mind games with you and getting whatever he want up out of you. And he know you're going to do whatever for him because you like him so much and you care about him so much. So if he say, hey, give me some money, 
you're going to give him some money. If he say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Give me your body. You're going to give him your body. If he say, hey, you know, come let me let me ride around in your car, you gonna let him ride around in your car. If he say, hey, let me stay in your house rent free, he laid up on your couch, using up on your Wi-Fi and watching your TV. You know what I'm saying? And you as a woman, you find out that you're doing all the work because this man, he don't even care, right? But a lot of times you can't let that man get too comfortable because you always gotta show him, hey, you know what I'm saying? It is a privilege for you to be with me. It's a privilege because this man, he don't feel like it's a privilege to be with you. He just feel like, oh, it's supposed to be like that. This man feel entitled. He feels so entitled. He feel like this is how it's supposed to be. Me and this woman, we together, right? She my girl. Or even if I don't necessarily want her, I'm using her. So she's still mine. And... And I want that control and power over here. And then when you're gone and he don't have that power over you, now that's when he feels powerless as a man. So it's all about his ego. In this situation, it ain't you, it's his ego. He just wants that power for his ego. It don't matter who the woman is. It could be you, it could be her, her, her. It don't matter who the woman is. It's not you individually. The only reason why he's coming back and the only reason why he keep coming back, coming back, coming back, Every single time you pull away and you stop caring is because he just want to use you for all your benefits, right? So this man, basically, he just want to use you for all your benefits because he's territorial over the benefits, right? So everything that come with you and everything that's about you, he don't want you. He just don't want nobody else to have you for one. That's one thing. He don't want even no, he don't even want nobody else to have you. A lot of times this man don't even want you, but he want to keep you away from other men that may want you. Because he, again, he just want that power over you. So again, it's not you. He just want somebody to be able to control. It don't matter who the woman is. You was just the easy target. He chose you because you was the easy target and you liked him so much that he found you as the victim and you was the prey. So he just focused in on you because you was the easiest one that liked him so much that was willing to do whatever for him. So that's the reason why. So he not coming back for you. He coming back because he don't want nobody else to have that power over you because he's going to feel powerless as a man all about his ego because he needs to have that power and control and dominance over a woman to make him feel complete as a man. So that's basically the only reason why he's coming back. That's the only reason why he care a lot of time. That's pretty much the number one reason is just because he just want to continue to use you for your benefits. It ain't you. He just want the sex from you. He just want your money. He just want that apartment. That's why he coming back. He not coming back for nothing. He coming back for that apartment. He coming back for the luxury of just having you around. He coming back for just, you know, just having just a woman just up under him, just, you know, infatuated with him. It ain't you. It's just the fact that you are, oh, you are a woman that's doing these things. So it could be any woman, but it just so happened to be you. So again, this man, he may be using you because if he really wanted to be with you, it wouldn't be these back and forth games. He would care about you all the way through. So that's what happens. So so the reason why he come back is because, you know, he want to keep all his benefits. He don't want to lose them benefits, right? So that's that. So number two, the second reason why a man will start to care when you stop caring about him and stop tripping over him is you're the one always chasing up after him, right? So if you as a woman, if you're the initiator, if you're the one always chasing about this man, you're the one always calling him, texting him, wanting to see him first before this man even want to see you. This man don't even want to see you. But you always want to see him. You're always the one reaching out first. You're always, you, you don't even give him a chance to even reach out to you or want you because you want him so bad. So what happened was he moved into his feminine energy because you moved into your masculine energy by chasing you know chasing and hunting is more of a masculine energy because you're trying to hunt you're trying to get it and when you start trying to hunt and get that man you took his job away from him so now he take your job as a woman and he say oh well you chasing up after me well that means i'm the prize as a man if if you're going to chase me 
I'm the prize. If I'm the prize, I ain't got to do nothing. So I'm going to sit back, relax, kick my feet up, and you're going to just wash my feet, your highness, and you're going to, you know, fan me with that leaf fan. With, you know, you're going you to fan me with that leaf, you know, that big, you know, that big leaf. You know what I'm saying? You're going to fan me, and then you're going to feed me some grapes, your highness. You're going to feed me some grapes and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be good. You hear me? So he wants you to cater to him and bow down to him. Because you put him up on a pedestal. Anytime you put a man up on a pedestal and you put him higher than you, that's how this man gonna treat you like he higher than you because he know your value. Because if you put him up so high, that means you put yourself lower than him because he know your interest level. He know that you really care about him and that you'll be willing to bend over backwards for him. So what does that say about you? That tells him that he's the prize and you're not. So if that man feels like he's a prize, he moves in his feminine energy and he's like, well, I'm going to just receive and receive and you're going to be the chaser. You're the hunter now. You know, you're the hunter. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the hunter because this woman, she going to hunt me. She going to move with her masculine energy. She going to hunt me and I ain't got to do nothing. I'm just sit. You know what I'm saying? She going to take me out. That's why you hear a lot of men. A lot of men nowadays, they may, you know require women to take them out. You know, it's a lot of men, they're like, oh, I want the woman to take me out. I'm the prize. What does the woman bring to the table? You hear that a lot, right? What does the woman bring to the table? You know, the woman, you know, she need to bring more to the table. You know what I'm saying? And you hear this talk about all these guys, but guess what? But you should not be chasing up after this man. When you chase up after this man, you show your interest level. When you show your interest level, now he know that he got you wrapped around his finger. This man know he got you wrapped around his finger. Where you gonna go? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna go nowhere because you stuck on me. You obsessed with me. You ain't never gonna leave me. So guess what? I ain't even gotta try. I ain't even gotta do nothing. You put me up on a pedestal, your highness. I ain't even gotta try. I'm gonna kick my feet up and you gonna bow down to me. So that's why he feel like he ain't gotta care. That's why he feel like he don't care. But guess what? The second day he not getting that fin, you know what I'm saying? The second you not feeding him them grapes no more, you not feeding him them grapes, or the second that you not washing his feet no more, and you not bowing down to him no more, oh, wait a minute, I'm not getting this good treatment, what happened? You know what I'm saying? So now, all of a sudden, this man, he start feeling like, hey, you know what I'm saying? This woman, it's, it's a void that's missing. It's a void because I was getting all this attention and affection and love from her and she was validating me and feeding my ego and making me complete and whole as a man because I know that somebody actually liked my dusty butt. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, this woman, she know her worth and she gone. So wait a minute. This woman, she feel like she know her worth? Hold on. She can't know her worth. You know what I'm saying? Because she know her worth. Nah, she is. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So that's when we get into number three. So number three is he's afraid that you know your worth. Right? So number three is he's afraid. This man is afraid that you know your worth. Because any woman that knows her worth he no longer has power and control over a smart woman that thinks for herself that's not easily manipulated. If I can't manipulate you no more and I can't have you bend over backwards for me no more and you gone and you act like you don't care and you out my life for good, I need that back. And I'm afraid of losing you because, hey, who are you? The audacity of you. You was letting me walk all over you. You was letting me abuse you, mistreat you, put my hands on you. You was letting me cuss you out. You was letting me cheat on you. You was letting me lie to you. You was letting me put you down, you know, poke insecurities at you. You was letting me do all that. You was letting me disrespect you in your face. Now, all of a sudden, you got the guts to leave me? How dare you? How dare you? The nerve of you. You let me walk all over you for all this time. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to get up and leave me. Who you think you are? You can't leave me. I'm the man. You can't leave me. I own you. You know what I'm saying? And it's for real. A lot of men, you think I'm playing. A lot of men really, really think like that. A lot of men, they really, for real, for real, think like that. Like, no games. Like, no joke. They really be thinking like, like they really own you. And they really feel like the audacity of this woman to think that she know her worth and that she just so big and bad and that she just, you know, don't need me and she just so independent and she can just walk about my life. 
That's why a lot of men don't like independent women. A lot of men don't like independent women because you're so independent that you're not going to need me. And I don't have that power over you. And sometimes that man know if you're independent, you can walk at any given time. If you're an independent woman, it ain't nothing going to hold you back because you got your own money. You got your own everything. So you don't need a man for nothing. So if a man gets to acting up, you can walk out his life like that because you don't need to deal with that. And every man is afraid of that because they want a woman that's going to stay there through all his mess and all his games. And a woman is going to be easy and be, you know, and just be so obsessed with him that she going to allow him to just be, to walk all over her and to be a pushover. You know what I'm saying? The woman going to be a pushover for the man because she like him so much. So that's the reason why he don't even like the fact that you standing up for yourself. Because the whole time, you ain't been standing up for yourself all this time. I've been walking all over you, putting my hands on you, cussing you out, lying to you, cheating on you, whatever. This whole time, now all of a sudden, you want to leave me all of a sudden. Like, you just so big and bad. Like, you just going to leave me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's really how he feel. But yes, you got to show that man, yes, bro, yes, sir, I'm really leaving you. I'm really, yes, yes, I'm really leaving you. That was the last straw, and I'm fed up. And guess what? A lot of times, this man don't take you seriously. Sometimes, this man don't even take you seriously when you do leave because he feel like you're going to be back. But that's when you show him, hey, I'm not about to be back. I'm not coming back. You think I'm coming back, but I'm not. But he think it's a game, and he think that you always going to come back, and you ain't never going to leave him. So that's when you show him, I'm not no game, and I'm going to leave you because I'm an independent woman. I love myself, and I know my worth, and I know my value, and I know I don't deserve this mistreatment or you not committed to me. If you don't want to be with me and you don't want to commit to me or you don't want to be my boyfriend, fiance, or husband, then you got to go, and I'm going to leave. Bye. <laughs> Deuces. Goodbye because I don't have to deal with this, you know? And every man is afraid and scared of a woman knowing her worth and actually leaving and walking away because he loses that control and power and dominance over her. And now I can't do nothing. Now she's too smart. And hey, it's nothing I can do. I'm powerless. I'm a little boy. I'm powerless. I have I have I have no control over the situation, you know? And that's when he just feels less of a man a lot of times because he was using you for an ego boost. He was using you and manipulating you and using you for so long, he felt powerful. Then when you left, he felt powerless. So that's what happened, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth reason why a man will start to care as soon as you stop caring, as soon as you just be like, I'm not even tripping over you, bro. Get out my face. I'm done is he did not think that you would actually leave him, right? So that's kind of like number three. But in this one, I'm going to just say, he thought that you were going to stay. He thought that you was never going to leave him. He thought he just had it like that. He thought he just had you wrapped around. Your head was just going crazy. Like you was just heart eye, goo goo ga ga over him. And you was never going to do nothing to stand up for yourself. Or you was never going to just leave. Sometimes a man, you may say, you know, Sid, you know, you don't know what you got until it's gone. You know, he didn't know what he had until he left, until I left his life, right? This man did not know what he had until I left his life. But I'm going to tell you, ladies, no, that wasn't just it. He knew what he had a lot of times because he knew that you was a good woman. He knew you was a good woman. But guess what? He knew what he had. He just did not think it would ever leave him. He knew you was a good woman because if you was a good woman, you know you was a good woman and he know it. He know you. He know that you would do anything for him and he took your kindness for weakness. A lot of times this man, he would get too comfortable over time and take your kindness for weakness because he feels so entitled to all your benefits because you keep giving, giving, giving to him. And over time, maybe like in the beginning, he was pursuing you, right? In the beginning, he was pursuing you 100%. He was the one reaching out, calling you, wanting to see you, stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, when you started to reach out to him and you started wanting to see him, texting him first, calling him first, buying him stuff, you know, getting too comfortable with him, letting him invade your space, and inconveniencing you, he got too comfortable and he felt like, hey, 
Let me see how far I can get with this woman. Let me see how far this woman is going to allow me and tolerate my using her and disrespect towards her. You know what I'm saying? So you may not even realize that you thought you was in love. You thought this man loved you, but this man did not love you. He was just using you the whole time because honestly, he thought you was just a placeholder. He was just using you in the spot as a placeholder until he got what he really wanted, right? When this man felt like, you know, something else would be better out there, then he going to drop you. But right now, eh, I guess you cool right now. I'm going to just rock with her right now. And I want to keep her around. I don't want her to go too far because I need her in my life. But guess what? Hey, if I find another woman better than her, I'm going to kick her to the curb, right? So he just using you as a placeholder. He using you as a right now, meantime girl. He don't want you. He just want to continue using you until he can find somebody else better else to use or another woman to use. Sometimes this man not complete within himself, so he uses other women to complete him. So he used you, 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 you. So basically, he's like an empty battery. This man is like a red, low battery, and he's using every other woman for a charge, right? So he goes to this woman, I'm going to get a charge from her. This woman, I'm going to get a charge from her. I'm going to drain her energy. I'm going to drain her energy. I'm going to drain her battery. And now I have a full battery, and these all these other women, now they all got low batteries because I drained them. And now I'm a, I got a full battery, and my ego is filled as a man, even though I'm insecure my ego is still temporarily filled with that void right so that's the whole reason why this man he don't really care about you he just coming back because hey you know what i'm saying he don't want to lose that he knew what he had he just did not think you would ever leave him he did not think you would muster up the guts to actually walk about that door because you know over time you let it slide you let so much stuff slide over and over and over again you let it slide for so long until you got to the point where you said enough is enough and you left and now he's like whoa she really left me hold on wait wait i was just playing hold on she really really left me this time hold on wait 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 that's the panic he panicking because he really didn't think you would really leave him he thought everything was peaches and cream and everything was just, you know, rainbows and butterflies, but it wasn't. He thought it was sweet, but it was sour. He thought it was good, but it wasn't. He thought he could get away with it for so long because he'd been getting away with it because you kept allowing him to get away with it. But when you stopped allowing him to get away with it, he like, wait a minute. This woman, she, she actually got some guts. She actually know herself. She actually know her worth. Oh, no, I'm losing her now. And now she's gone. Let me try to get her back. I'm panicking because I need to use her to fill me up as a man, right? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why a man will start to care as soon as you stop caring, as soon as you stop tripping, as soon as you're not even worried about him, you turn your back on him and now here he come running up after you is this man is insecure and afraid of being alone right so a lot of y'all women y'all don't even realize it or maybe some of y'all do but a lot of men they're insecure a lot of men that you come in contact with they insecure they have daddy issues too they got abandonment issues too they got trust issues attachment issues too trauma bonds all kinds of stuff that they didn't deal with childhood traumas a lot of men are broken and it's even worse being a man because you're not even allowed to cry because the world look at you like you weak because you know if you cry as a man a lot of society maybe not you as a woman specifically but society views men as weak when they cry so a lot of times a lot of men they they bottle everything up inside because they can't express themselves. So they mix that bottled up inside with all their childhood traumas mixed in with depression, mixed in with the whole world on your shoulders because you're supposed to be so macho a man that you can't show no emotion because you're supposed to be a man and you're supposed to get up and suck it up and be a man and walk it off and all that. So in, in his mind, a lot of times, he he's he's like just a little boy. A lot of men that you deal with, that you may come in contact with, are not grown men. they little boys that have not healed for their childhood traumas. They messed up. And it's not your job to save them. A lot of y'all women, this is where y'all get messed up. And this is where it be to your detriment every time. Because if you think that it's your job to be superwoman and put on your superwoman cape and do-do-do-do. 
superwoman to the rescue. And no, it should not be like that. This man, hey, his life is his life. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's not your job to save everybody from drowning. You know what I'm saying? You trying to save him from drowning, and he and you and you drowning too, trying to save him. You drowning, trying to save him. You don't even need to be in the water. Sometimes you just gotta let people just drown. <laughs> I know that sound messed up, but sometimes, but sometimes you can't even save everybody. They gotta save themselves. You can't save nobody. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you just gotta let them go. You know, you gotta let them deal with their stuff and their own misery and their own sorrows because it's gonna rub off on you. All his negative energy is gonna rub off on you. So what happens is he feels so bad about himself that he feel like he just need a woman around, right? Because he's insecure within himself. So he's looking for somebody to love him and give him that love that he never had in a very desperate way. And it's very desperate and very toxic and very insecure and very narcissistic, right? So all of these things mixed in one and he's selfish and territorial, narcissistic, all of that. That is where you get this grown man that's a, really a grown boy. You know what I'm saying? He he a grown man. He a man in a grown. He a, he a little boy in a grown man body, right? He a little small little boy in a grown man body, but he just need a woman around or he need multiple women around to make him feel complete. So any woman that leaves his life, he got abandonment issues. So he just needs somebody by his side to make him feel complete because he, he, cause maybe somebody in his past left him. So now he needs somebody by his side in a toxic way, you know, or maybe he got attachment issues where he's real clingy. You ever met a guy that's super clingy? He's super, super clingy and y'all just met and he already trying to marry you on the first day. Always trying to be with you, already trying to accelerate things too fast. Those be red flags a lot of times because this man, he trying to love bomb you. He just trying to just get in good with you. He trying to breadcrumb you, trying to hurry up and trying to just, well, he's trying to just hurry up and just give you everything and love bomb you real hard so that you'll never leave him because he's afraid of being alone. He's afraid of being by himself. He don't even love himself. He don't even know himself. He don't even like himself. So he needs to cling to somebody else to validate him. So it's not you that he's clinging on to. It's just the fact that I can't let nobody leave my life. So I'm lonely. I'm a lonely man. I don't like my life. I'm, I, he probably broke. You know, maybe he don't have no money or maybe he don't have a whole lot of money coming in, a whole lot of finances coming in. And what I say, a man's finances a lot of times are directly correlated with his bank account. Whatever is in a man's bank account, that's how much, that's how he feels about himself on the inside. Because his self-esteem as a man, a man is defined a lot of times by how much money you make. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're a man and you're not successful, then you feel like a bum. You feel like you a waste of a man. A lot of men, that's how they feel. So he may already be, you know, in survival mode and he don't have his three basics together, a car, an income, and a crib, his own place, right? He don't have his three basics together, so he feels very insecure and less of a man. So those so he so he's gonna compare himself to you because you're on a higher pedestal and he don't even feel like he deserves you. This man don't even feel like he deserves you, but he wants you in his life. But he don't feel like he deserve you a lot of times because he know he don't because he know he broke or he know that he he mentally is not ready to love you. But he wants the love from you, but he don't want to give the love because he don't know how to love. He don't even know how to love because he don't even know how to love himself because he never seen an example of love. Maybe he grew up. He grew up on tough love, on survival and not real love. So he don't even know how to love a woman properly. You know what I'm saying? He never had a father figure to teach him how to love a woman, how to treat a woman or nothing or, or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So he just cling to the first woman that come his way. And even if he's toxic and even if it don't even work out, he just wants you in a toxic way because he cannot stand to be alone. So any woman that come my way, just come here, come here, come here. Just make me validate me, validate me, make me feel like I'm a man because I have a woman by my side again. So it's not you, it's just his insecurities. It's just his ego because he just feels so dissatisfied with his life that he feels like, hey, he just feels like, he just feels, 
he doesn't feel satisfied with his life, so he just feels bad. So he's like, hey, I'm going to just, you know, cling to somebody just to, you know, come up off of them, you know. Or sometimes this man try to, he tries to come up off of you or he tries to leech off of you. Or he just tries to, you know, basically use you as a stepping stool for for his financial elevation. So he don't want you to go because you complete him overall. You complete him mentally. You complete him financially. You his mama. You give him everything. You his mama. That's why he don't want you to go. He don't want you to go nowhere because you his mama. Without you, he's nothing. Well, if you leave his life, he ain't gonna know what to do because don't nobody else care about him. Don't nobody else even matter. Even if he treats you bad, he still don't want you to leave because he feel like he needs you in his life, even if he's not even showing you that he cares. And that's still toxic, and that's still a man that you don't need to be dealing with because he's toxic, and he needs to deal with his stuff on his own. He needs to go find him a therapist. He needs to go talk to God, talk to Jesus, go to church. He got to do something. But you ain't the savior and you ain't the one that's that superwoman. It's not your job. So don't even deal with a man that has those insecurities or just need a woman by his side or just narcissistic or that just, you know, or things of that nature, you know? So those are the reasons why men come back. A lot of times men come back just to use you. It ain't because of you a lot of times. It's either to use you, it's either just so nobody else can have you, or it's for their ego just to, you know, boost their ego so that they have power and dominance over somebody. It don't matter who it is, just they just feel empowered. And then, and then just the fact that you always there validating him, he don't want you to leave him because he benefiting off of you. Because you feeding his ego and you make him feel so good that if he lose you, he knows that he's back to square one and he know that ain't no other woman ever going to deal with him. Because he know he don't deserve you. He know it. And I don't even know why you dealing with him anyways because because you don't deserve the way he been treating you. Because he been treating you wrong. He been treating you so bad. And you know what? It is time for you to stop caring. So when you stop caring, it's that law of attraction. As soon as you stop caring and you stop chasing, it come to you. That's anything in life. When you're not desperate and you're not thirsty and you're not focused and trying to get it, and so it's just so it's so pressed and so desperate, and you just relax and, and you're not even tripping over it, that's when it come to you. You know? So so a lot of times. You just got to not care when it comes to a man, even, even a man that you like or a man that you don't like, you still got to act like you don't care and you're not impressed because, hey, when you see what happened, when you show that you care about a man, when you show that you care about a man really a lot of times and he ain't really showed you that he cared about you, that's where you get messed up. When you ain't seen a man's cars and he ain't showed you that he cared about you, or maybe he did show you that he cared about you, but over time he got too comfortable that's when you know you got to start exiting or you got to start checking him and letting him know, hey, I'm going to be out the door if you don't get your act together real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to be gone. So this man knows that. So you got to put him in his place and you got to not care. You got to give him that cold shoulder like, hey, you know what I'm saying? So you see what happens. And you go for the same thing for the men that you don't want. All the men that you like, ill, get away from me. You see how they act. They all over you because you don't care. But the men that you do want, the men that you actually want to be with, you show that you care, and they don't care about you. So with every single man, you got to act like you don't care, and then they all will come to you. Even the men that you do want, the men that you actually do want to be with, if you act like you don't care with the men that you actually want to be with, they're going to come to you just like the other guys that you don't care about that come to you because you treat them all the same way. I don't care about you. I don't care about none of y'all men. You know, y'all going to come and go. May the best man win. And then they all going to be lining up because you're not even giving them all that energy. Sometimes you as a woman, less is more. I'm going to tell you straight up. You as a woman, less is more. When you relax and you chill and you're not so desperate and thirsty and you just relax your feminine energy and you allow a man to be in his masculine energy and to chase you and hunt you, and you just sit back and you kick your feet up and you just receive all the benefits, that's where you want to be at. You don't want to be the chaser. You don't want to be the chaser. You want to be the one being chased. Never be the chaser, be the chasee. You know, be the one being chased, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was when you stop caring about a man, hey, 
that's when he starts to care and that's when he wants you more right so ladies hope you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe y'all hit that bell notification and i'm out of here so to the next video